Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this game, after we, we just finished uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, and it was a fantastic game, and so I wanted to get a change of pace. I wanted, uh, so I have a tremendous amount of, remember in the Dragon Age, we were building up the Inquisition, and we were drawing in people, so this bet empire building process ah, just got me created so much what like an ache in my inside me to do a you know to, to to go to create an empire and one of the best game engines that i have ever encountered is the nobunaga's ambition so in this uh iteration of nobunaga's ambition uh let us work to see if we can create an empire based on the life story of uh again uh on the life story of uh shinjin takeda now shinjin takeda is one of the greatest uh, generals during the sengoku period and he was once he was considered like you know Okay, let's read this. The 11th year of Tensho, 1542, in Tsutsugigakasaki Palace in Kai, Harunobu was, when he became an adult at about 15, 16 years old, was, was given the name Harunobu. Shinjin was later given, uh, he took the name Shinjin later on once he became very established. But that was his... Harunobu Takeda, the head of the Ta Takeda clan, was planning an attack on the Suwa clan of Shinano, with whom he had built up a peaceful relation relationship until now. This was because he could not accept the fact that they had formed an alliance with Yama Yamanouchi, with Sugi clan, who were looking to strengthen their influence in Shinano without consulting him. So, Harunobu, my father was too forgiving with the Suwa. I cannot overlook them any longer. Kansuke, this is one of his uh, gr uh, great generals. Indeed, we, we may have given them Lady Nenit, that's the sister of Harunobu. But it seems we have no choice but to make them understand their mistake through force. And Kansuke, prepare the troops. So this is another uh, Kansuke Yamamoto. Her Lord seems hesitant. Nobuharu Baba is also one of his great generals. You think so? He seems the same as always to me. I can read Lord Harunobu's heart as if it were a book in my in my hands. So he is worried about Nene then. Yes, but this is the way of the world. There will be many of these dilemmas. On the road to controlling the nation, Lord Harunobu must overcome them. Controlling the nation. Somehow it doesn't sound impossible when Kansuke says it. Says it. Harunobu's sister, Neni, had been married into the Suwa clan, attacking them, meaning destroying the life she had been living up to now. Having already driven his father out of the country, Harunobu was about to sacrifice another family member for the sake of conquest. So, so we're given this mission, so let's start it. That means uh, exiling his father and gaining the leader's seat. Harunobu set a course for slow expansion. That, however, proved difficult in its own right. So proceed with the historical quest. Yes. So we, we, we need to make break the marriage al uh, alliance with the Suwa. So... If we move out using that uh, right shoulder button, we will see that this is Harunobu Takeda's clan. His father Nobutora was also a is a warrior is is is, is a warrior is a warrior daimyo, and he has been warring all over this because there are lots. of... look at if you yeah we Japan during the Sengoku period is enormous. It's just uh, there's so many little fiefs, little daimyos, and and these are this like, and so right now Harunobu controls Kai. He has one castle and two fortresses. 
So he needs to expand, but to expand, Suwa is in the north, and then the uh, the Uesugis, not the not Kat, Kag, Kagatora, but the Uesugis, Yamanoichi Yamanoichi Uesugis control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven uh, fortresses, of whom one is a. Uh, this is a castle, and then these are fortresses. The difference between castles and fortresses is very simple. Fort, uh, there is there is only one castle per province. So this this province over here, the Kai province, Tutu Gigasaki is a castle, and the two are these are the two are fortresses. So on the north, Uisugi, we that means if if we we want to go this is this is shinano and that's why that's the mission of uh harunobu is to take over shinano but he has to go through the yamanouchi wesugis and so and suwa has made had had allied with them so that means uh the, <coughs> So she, it's very hard for him to go and then also have this guy supporting this. So might as well go break the tie. So he needs to move north. The problem with Nabunaga, uh, Harunobu, sorry, Harunobu is that to the south is a, is a very powerful clan called the Hojos. The Hojos control the biggest castle in the land. It is like, look at it, it has 16,000 hit points. Our castle has a measly 3,000 hit points. And so that means it has a lot of lands and uh, it it has a it's very hard to take over. It has a lot of lands and uh, it starting troops is 5,000. Our starting troops is only uh, under 3,000. And aside from that, the Hojos control another castle, Nirayama. And uh, so, and this one, this is uh, Kawago. So right now, right off the bat, the Ho uh, Hojos control three castles and one, two, three, three uh, fortresses. And then to our southwest is the Imagawas, another very powerful clan. Uh, the Imagawas control one castle, two castles because they control, and what's this? Uh, oh, no, no. So they control this one, that's a castle. Takekagawa, Hik, Hik, Hikuna. Uh, so two castles and one, two, three, four, and five fortresses. So going south is very problematic. It, we, we cannot fight these guys. They are way over our heads if we go against them. Like the Imagawa has like, this is a 6,000 castle, rated 6,000 and 3,500 soldiers. And Hikama, uh, Hikama has... Uh, 3000 so they're yeah they they can they like our our fortresses what 1000 and then rated soldiers 1500 2000 rated soldiers uh 1300 so very very hard so we need to go north the problem once once uh harunobu goes north he will bump into the wesugis this is kagetora wesugi later to be known, known as the Dragon of Ichigo. Uh, he is, uh, their, their battles, so when, when Harunobu become, changes his name to Shinjin, Kagatora will change his name to, uh, what's Osugi, I forgot. Uh, he will change his name. Yeah, so where, where Harunobu is known as the Tiger of Kai, uh, Kagetora Nagao. Oh, he is called. He will be Kenshin. He will be known as Kenshin Wisugi. Uh, Kenshin will be known as the Dragon of Echigo. So it. So, and they control. His family controls Kasugayama, the second biggest castle in the land. So Odawara is sixteen thousand hit points. Kasugayama is ten thousand hit points. So, so they are, and then. No, historically, Harunobu and 
Kagatora or Kenshin and uh, Shinjin had fight had fought five times and most of them ended in a kind of draw. So that's why going north, then he will bump into this. So and then on the right side, on the east side, he has this Yamanoichi. On the left side, there's nothing. It's just mountains and mountains. So it's very hard to push through. So if he wants to go west, and this is the capital, the old capital. This is uh, here. Here's the old capital. Kanoji Temple? No, uh, I think. Yeah, I think this is the old capitals right here. And it is controlled by the. No, I think. Or maybe down here. I think this is the old capital. A uh, Kanoji, yeah. Uh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, I think this is the capital here. Azai? Uh. Azai, those are the Azai. I thought the capital was Satake. Uh oh, anyway, uh, my my geography is a little, uh, it's a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little vague. I think it's somewhere here. This is the capital where the lake is. Uh, and then, so we every daimyo has to march towards the capital as an excuse to take over property here it's like they were summoned by the emperor and the shogun is somewhere here also uh, satake satake is is the current shogun anyway so that is the map of japan during the sengoku period and uh nobunaga is somewhere here but he his father still controls this he's in nagoya and these are the the red ones are oda these are uh, okay, that is. See, this is the Oda clan, and then there's also another Oda clan, which is the blue ones. So there will be a lot of infighting. So Oda has one, two, three, four, and five. And Nagoya would be a castle. So four fortresses and one castle. But they have an internal conflict with the blue types, uh, uh, Odas. These are also Odas. Kiyo, Kiyosu Oda. Anyway, so the problem with uh, Shinjin was that he died in his late 40s. Or, in fact, uh, wait, uh, rose, uh, Harunobu rose to prominence at about 15, 16 years old when he and his father were trying to take over Uno, Uno Kuchi uh, fortress, and it, they fought a whole day. And then uh, Nobutora, the father, decided uh, they couldn't take they couldn't take it on that day. So he called a retreat. Uh, Harunobu was very dissatisfied with that action, so he 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 got his own men and marched back, and that night took over Uno Kuchi. So that was like an amazing feat for a 15-year-old, possibly 16-year-old. Uh, so that he rose to start, to, he became very popular then. And then, uh, so when he was around 19, 20 years old, his father was doing all kinds. Of, he's a warrior, like he's fighting all over, but he's very poor as an administrator. So domestically, is very problematic. So, and that is why one of the reasons he fought everybody, left, right, north, south, east, west. And so he just kind of wasted the, uh, he's, he's a great warrior, but he's wasting the energies of the, of the clan. So Harunobu took over and banished him. And Nobutora went, Mike, uh, was exiled to the Imagawas. And as part of the father's, uh, effort to keep peace in the land he was the one who married off uh shinjin's uh sister to the suwa to to set to to pacify the northern his northern border so that those again again that but that problem was for harunobu it sealed off the northern part because he cannot go this way because that's an ally and he can't go this way because he will be infringing on a powerful the uh, Yamauchi over here. 
anyway, uh, the problem then, uh, but but then once he went through here, he was able to take all of Kai. And uh, but uh, he died early, so he died about in his late forties, or possibly early fifties. And his fourth son Katsuyori took over, and Katsuyori fought with uh, a combination of uh, Matsudaira which is the future Tokugawa and uh, combination of Oda and Matsudaira and he lost and uh, that's a very famous battle and after he lost he committed seppuku and so the clan kind of disintegrated disintegrated after that the pro and what during I I read some history on this about uh Shinjin Takeda he has one of the best one of the best organized uh, army in the world. Uh, one of the way for him to control, at one point in time, I think the biggest size his army was at is between 25 to 30,000, even at the height of his power. So trying to control too big, like this is like, if we go back out, see, this is, a, it's like the, the middle of Japan, although it's very, and it's very mountainous. So it is very hard to patrol the, the border to keep the border safe and then he even went through here and he went to somewhere here too his has uh, small small territories here so to patrol this huge swath of land despite all the mountains he built a system of towers that sent smoke signals and then so he has like an always a very uh, fast re fast response force that can go to any part and so he he was he was militarily of one of the best strategists of that period and at the same time he was a great warrior and he was a more than adequate administrator so he was he could have it, had he not died early he could have ruled japan and in fact there was a small skirmish between his troops and a combination of oda matsudaira which is uh, tokugawa uh, and he won uh, I mean, uh, Shinjin won, but it was a small skirmish. But anyway, so let's see if we can, assuming, uh, okay, the other the other issue is that because he died and his son committed seppuku, uh, the problem is that uh, that means all the generals kind of, and in this game, the generals do die. They, they have, all the generals here have an expiration date and they die. And so, plus the fact is that when they die, you know, there are no more, uh, what do you call this? Uh, there's no legacy. So, so the, the, we don't want to be fighting this or trying to build our empire. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 uh, then uh, Shinjin dies and Katsuyori dies. And then suddenly we're, so, so that we, so that Harunobu would have, a legacy would have people that can take over after he's dead uh, I gave him two sons and three four daughters two sons and four daughters but they'll come in uh, later in the game so towards in case that uh, in case he dies so they will not have an impact in the early part of the game it will be more maybe in the middle part of the game when they come into the picture but let's see if we can we can do better than uh, Harunobu before our ch uh, his children comes along anyway so with much without further much further ado let us start the game uh, and let's see okay we are supposed to to uh, start okay the thing is right now he has 16 officers in his castle and one officer each in in here in each of his uh fortress not not good so we need to transfer people here to nakano from tutsu whatever that name is <laughs> uh and we can transfer uh itakagi and another guy maybe uh uh yeah And then we can transfer 
uh, from here. Uh, huh. Lady Sanjo, uh, Masanobu Kosaka. Yeah, and maybe another person. Uh, no, no, Yamamoto is our guy, so how about this guy? Yeah, nope. No, 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 not this guy, not this guy. Uh, okay. And then uh, before we do anything, uh, let us save this game, save this. So that, uh, okay, let's save it here. And then, uh, <laughs> because I have a tendency to yeah, like commit boo-boos and, uh, okay. Uh, hmm. So what we're going to do first would be, this is the month of, I think the month of August. Okay, so we need to start developing our... And one of the things we need to do is make sure that we have the best... Uh, we can always change the Overseer. The Overseer is critical in terms of the speed of development in our... in our fortresses. So... Okay, so I guess that's it, right? Uh, we can't do anything more. Uh, oh, the other thing is that in this game, on the upper left-hand corner, we will see a bunch of numbers. And there is a muscular arm, a yellow, with a two beside it. The two represents the workers we have that we need. So anytime we do development work along all of these, any of these, they require workers. Here, development requires workers. Uh, this one is uh, policy for our empire, and this is uh, the this is to to talk to the merchant. We can sell food, and we can buy food, horses. Right now, muskets are not available. And then the third item, the fourth item, is uh, these are treasures. Treasures are the ones we can buy and give to our uh, generals to improve their uh, their loyalty like in this case if we look at here and we look at our generals using the right trigger oh, no no the the right shoulder we will see that there are so the blue ones represents they are uh very loyal while cha-cha here says he has 11 loyalty against a record eight we need at least a spread of five points for them to be really loyal. So right now, she can be enticed by other tribes. Oh, she's the only one. She can be enticed by other tribes uh, to leave us, be uh, to, to subvert. Anyway, so uh, and so that's one. And this is for the transfer which we did, and this is for us to build. What do you call this? Uh, oh, we did not. Oh, what we haven't done is we can also check on. To see, sometimes we can discover gold mines. Uh, huh. We can get uh, the big boss to go do it for us. Who's this guy? Uh, Baba has seven, has 88. Okay. Okay, so that's it for this month. So we can, we can just, uh, yeah, we can proceed to the next month. And this is the battle phase. Uh, so right now we are not battling anybody. And uh, so this comes in two phases. The first phase is the administration phase. The second phase is the battle phase. Anyway, uh, once the battle phase is over, so right now people aren't moving. Uh, we will see troops coming out in terms of 
uh, in the form of red arrowheads. Okay, so it is. And over here we will see the our gold income, total income of 1500. And the sources are from the base, which is we have one castle and two fortresses. And we have one mine. And then we have trade with other people. Uh, so these are all automatic. On the foreign trade, we can increase the amount of trade. There was a secret path near oh, Nakano. I looked around, nothing much. It's harvest season. Our people gave us a... Uh, okay, so... Okay, anyway, so let me cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.